In America, strikes dominate the front page from New York to San Francisco. To the United States in the past month, labor disputes have brought transport to a standstill in half a dozen cities. They have held up shipping. They have closed down the mines. Thousands of workers produce nothing. They leave the production belt for the picket line. A Republican-controlled House of Representatives has declared that it means to put labor in its place. Labor has chosen this moment to fight back. The rights and wrongs of these disputes are not our affair, but we are most vitally concerned with their consequences. Consider what they are. To Britain, a warning of a cut in our already ludicrous bacon ration. To Europe, a threat to the wheat supplies without which millions may die miserably from lack of food. To America, also the return of gangsterdom and violence. These attempts to override the will of the people are personified in John L. Lewis. We do not subscribe to all the attacks made upon this man. We recognize the great benefits he has won for America's miners. But we do say that neither he nor any other single individual ought in a democracy to have power to paralyze a nation's industry. The strikes are for the moment over. A hungry world demands that they do not return. <laughs>